Davy V with you, Davy V TV. Rochester, New York is under a state of emergency after the city hit an all time record for homicides uh, this year, never before seen in uh, Rochester, New York history. Uh, the city actually hit 69 and 70 yesterday in a double homicide uh, shooting in downtown Rochester. And then just a few hours later, in broad daylight, literally one around 1 p.m. in the afternoon in front of the uh, RTS bus station, the public transit station in downtown Rochester, New York, a young man was shot and then beaten to death again in broad daylight. Um, and that was basically 71. So 71 homicides and all time uh, high for Rochester, New York history. And like always, um, those of you who have been following me, me for years and following my work and following my videos and following Davy V TV and my blog, the Davy V blog, uh, you already know I pull no punches. I do not hold back in calling out the hypocrisy uh, in these so called uh, movements like Black Lives Matter. Completely silent, no outrage, no protests, no marches, no denouncing the senseless violence, absolutely disgusting. And very, very sad what's happening in my hometown of Rochester, New York. Thank you for watching Davy VTV. Let's roll the video. A state of emergency has been declared in the city of Rochester. Mayor Lovely Warren announcing this due to gun violence over the past few weeks. 2021 will go down as the city's most violent year so far with 71 homicides. Officers say this year has also seen an uptick in teen violence with 60 members of our youth being targets of violence. We begin with Ericetta Cost at the Public Safety Building. Ericetta, you were just talking to officers about this emergency order. What can you tell us? And Ali, I just want to mention that yesterday we had three homicides and one person is fighting for their life in from suffering from gunshot wounds. We're told Mayor Warren reached out to Governor Kathy Hochul's office this morning declaring a state of emergency for the city of Rochester and asking for additional help. Officials say this emergency order will bring on more state troopers, members of Monroe County Sheriff's Department, and mental health clinicians to assist in an, in an expanded task force for the city. They're going to be patrolling areas with the most shootings and reported gunshots. Dewey Avenue was one that was mentioned. The emergency order says gun violence in Rochester is up 95% compared to last year. There have been 301 shootings in 2021, 360 victims, and as I mentioned, 71 deaths. We heard from RPD Interim Chief David Smith on their role in this plan of action. It's exhausting, it's heartbreaking, and it's heart-wrenching. I have in front of me a list of over 30 violent offenders that we will be handing over to the expanded Marshals Task Force for hopefully arrest within the next few weeks. These are individuals that we already have probable cause to arrest, and we also know that if they're not arrested, they're still out there involved in gun crimes and violent acts.